Warning, this is not a how-to, step-by-step, or instructional channel. We are not professionals. Everything you see is real and not rehearsed. Following our instructions may result in you redoing the job over. Enjoy. All right, guys. So, as you can see, I'm a big guy. I know I don't I don't like to face it. However, driving this car is going to be a little hard because my belly's kind of sitting on the steering wheel. They made these cars for small people. Um, I was thinking about putting the seat back, but every time I mock the seat up to to go back, you know, set it back a couple inches. I was having a hard time reaching the pedals then. So we're thinking that uh, we have to stay, change out the steering wheel. So we're going to have to take it off. And we have this Grant steering wheel that I picked up from Summit Racing. Not sponsored. Willing to be. Uh, it's a considerable amount shorter. It's a 3.75 inch. And I know it's a lot smaller. And it looks all nice and new and shiny. Well, if this works for us, then we will take and weather it. So, first things first, let's get this... Uh, let's get this... Um, it's all taken apart. Brent, grab me a 22, maybe? 21, 22? Roger, roger. Uh, give me the impact. So we will be saving this steering wheel. Uh, there's some people online that say that, that there's uh, schematics out there and places you can buy um, remounting hardware for the seat to make it more adjustable. Uh, we're gonna look into that, but right now this is what we got. This doesn't look like a super hard job. We have all the mounting hardware, and once again, it's a Grant steering wheel. Um, I don't have the box for this out here, uh, but the mounting hardware to mount this three three hole uh, wheel is uh, Grant part number 4266. Once again, not sponsored, but we are willing to be, so if anybody from Grant or any anybody from Summit sees this video, hit me up. Instructions, we don't need those. We probably do, but we're not gonna use them. I think it's pretty self-explanatory for the most the most part once again we're going to save the steering wheel we might even keep this in the back I, I wish there was a way to easily you know put this on and off Brent's making a lot of noise over there I wish there was a way to easily take this on and off um, so when I got to the car show I could put it on but I don't think I want to do all that noise I don't think I want to do all that noise at all so Unfortunately, people, this is what we got going on right now. that we get to take and uh, try and move this under its own power here today. That's what I'm hoping. Mango bongo. I don't know if these are reverse thread, so we're not gonna hit this too hard. Guess it's not. 
So okay, set this off. Thread. Means that the thread goes the other the other way. So set that off the side, and then all I've ever done is just go back and forth. Once you break clean. Break clean, no. Why not? Well, I'll do it now. Is it just supposed to pull off? Well, I mean, it's not supposed to just pull off, but. Give me the uh, rubber mallet. Orange one? Yep. Who knows if it's ever been off? Well, not necessarily, but... So did I grab the right one? Yeah, but you asked me if it was meant for this. <coughs> oh. Uh, 13. You can give me an open end. 13, and then I think this is a ninth. See, I need that. You might still have a 13 in there. No, I think I put it on the toolbox. Did you put it back in its thing? Uh, I don't remember, to be honest with you. I think so. I hope you did. That's our one and only 13. By the way, why do you hand in this? Because I need that size too. Broke it my hammer. You broke your hammer? Broke it my hammer. Which one? Broke it my hammer. The rubber one? I broke it my hammer. Which one? Look. <laughs> I need a better hammer. <laughs> I'm sorry, but how? I broke it my hammer. Where's the other half of it? On the floor. Give me another hammer. Come on, man. <laughs> I don't know. Give me another hammer. There we go. Uh, never mind, Brett. Um. So, just go on. All right, all right, so this little adapter piece seems like it goes on. I know there's another piece here, but I don't think that I need to worry about that because I'm not worried about the horn right now. Plus, this is probably going to come back off so I can weather it, but I just want to get it on and see what she does.
What do you think, guys? I'm going to put this spring in here and probably forget about it. So when we go to make everything work, what do you think, Brent? It's not really touching me. I'm not sitting in the position I normally would to drive. It, it is a little small. Um, I think we can make it work, though. I really do. I think we can distress this. I'll find out if there's some kind of paint we could use. Maybe we could put it on our hands and and just, I don't know, go all over it and make a, some kind of a design to make it look like it, it faded off. I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. It's it's there. I think I'll be able to drive it still. I could still steer. Doesn't doesn't stop me from steering. The only thing is, is uh, when I hook the blinkers up, I'm going to have to take and heat this up and put a bend going that way and then a bend going this way just to get it away from the steering wheel enough so when I'm driving I don't hit it. But for now, we're okay with it being off. I don't know, I like it. I like it, guys. So let's move on to the next thing. So, moving on to the next thing. Once again, we're not going to be having all our clusters work like we want them to right now we need to buy a new wiring harness guys um but nonetheless i want things to still look okay for the car show so i'd like to kind of just get this shooken out clean it up a little bit get all the crap out of it and then put it back together These other screws are going to go in the glove box for now. So, here we go. Gauge clusters back together. I'm really starting to dig the steering wheel. We may have to bend that a smidge too. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I know I normally release on Sunday and Thursday. I actually think about giving you a, a special a special video, I guess you'd call it. You guys are going to have to tune in. I'm thinking tomorrow, maybe Friday, I'll release another one. And uh, you're not going to want to miss it because it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool, guys. Um, I'm not going to reveal what it is. I'm just going to say that you're going to have to watch the next video coming out. Um, if you like this one, please make sure you give us a thumbs up. Comments are always welcome. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. This channel is growing, and I don't want you to miss out on it. We have a lot of cool things still coming for this Falcon. Uh, we've got the tractor. We've got to do a radiator, too. Guys, we've still got the 66 Mustang. That has got to get done. That is is on the back burner um, until this winter because it's, it's in the shop already. And that's pretty much going to be the only project this winter that I can I can foresee. Um, but anyhow, guys, I really appreciate each and every one of you coming in, smashing the like button, commenting, sharing us out to your friends. Check us out on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Uh, Yahoo is Junker Clunkers with a Z. All the other platforms are Junker Clunkers with a Z. 
We also have a P.O. box. If you guys got anything you want to send, letters, pictures, stuff like that, you know. We, we really appreciate everybody's support. This Falcon's coming along. I'm getting optimistic that we're going to make this uh, this deadline. September 9th, what do we got, like 22 days, something like that? I don't know. I'm not good with math. You all know that. I hope you guys have a very, very good day. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Or don't.